Welcome to the Madison Miller Podcast. Today is Monday, May 3rd, 2021. Today I'm going to recap yesterday's NBA, NHL, and Major League Baseball games, as well as the rest of the weekend's games, and look ahead to tonight's games in each sport. We will recap the NASCAR races from the weekend, as well as the Valspar Championship. We'll recap last night's episode of American Idol and my best bet, of the day. All right, we're going to start in the NBA. We'll go over the weekend's games and we will look ahead to what should be a um interesting night tonight with an eight game slate on our hands. All right, Friday night, 76ers over the Hawks, 126 104. Celtics over the Spurs, 143 140 in overtime. Wizards over the Cavs, 122 93. Blazers over the Nets, 128 109. Grizz over the Magic, 92 75. Bucks over the Bulls, 108-898. Or 108-98, not 108-898. That'd be weird. Uh, Suns over the Jazz, 121-100. Kings over the Lakers, 110-106. Saturday. Hornets over the Pistons, 107-94. Warriors over the Rockets, 113-87. Hawks over the Bulls, 108-97. Heat over the Cavs, 124-107. Magic over the Grizzlies, 112-111. Pelicans over the Timberwolves, 140-136 in overtime. Pacers over the Thunder, 152-95. Mavs over the Wizards, 125-124. Jazz over the Raptors, 106-102. And Nuggets over the Clippers, 110-104. Sunday, Bucks over the Nets, 117-114. Trailblazers over the Celtics, 129-119. Heat over the Hornets, 121-111. Knicks over the Rockets, 122-97. Kings over the Mavs, 111-99. Suns over the Thunder, 123-120. 76ers over the Spurs, 113-111. And the Raptors over the Lakers, 121-114. to And both stars played for LA last night. All right. The games for tonight, 7 o'clock, you have the Magic against the Pistons. Projections. Magic by a half, total 217. And... It is Pistons by two. We don't have a total yet. I'm going to take Orlando, getting the two and plus one away straight up. No Jeremy Grant for Detroit. I don't feel good about it. Indiana and the Wizards, pick them 231. It's five and we don't have a total yet. Um, We don't know the status of Malcolm Brogdon, but I'm taking Indiana in the five. 7.30 7.30 ESPN, the Warriors against the Pelicans. I think it's on ESPN, too. I'm at Golden State, 1 total, 228. We're at New Orleans, 3 total, 236. Now, if I'm taking the other, again, Pelicans unders, Um, I think, are more valuable right now. And the market's overreacting. 8 o'clock, you have the Blazers and the Hawks. I'm at Blazers, 1 total, 227. Now, it's Hawks, 1 half total, 236 and a half. Um... Another under here. Um, I just think that this goes under. Um, 9 o'clock, the 76ers and the Bulls. I'm at Philly by 22, total 223. That's obviously with that Zach Levine. And it's 8. I'm going to lay to 8 with Philly. Knicks, Grizzlies. I'm at Memphis 1, total 219. Meanwhile, it's Memphis 3.5. I actually like it, but I like, I'm taking the Knicks. I like them taking the Knicks as a dog. Love it. I don't know if they'll win outright, but I like them as a dog here. Um, 10 o'clock, the Spurs and the Jazz. I'm at Utah 14, total to 23 and a half. He dwells Utah 6 and a half, and I'm going to take the 6 and a half at Utah. Lay it, I mean. And on the ESPN tonight, the Nuggets and the Lakers, I'm at Denver 2, total to 21. Meanwhile, it's Denver 2. We don't have a total yet. If it is 223 or higher, I'm betting the under. And if it's 219 or lower, I will bet on the over for that game. Now I'm going to go over the NHL results from the weekend and look ahead to an interesting Monday window ahead. So we'll start Friday night. Canadians over the Jets 5 to 3, Avs over the Sharks 3 nothing, Coyotes over the Golden Knights 3 nothing, Kings over the Ducks 2 to 1. 
rare coyotes under for Friday night. Saturday. Bruins over the Sabres six to two. Red Wings over the Lightning one nothing in a shootout. Devils over the Flyers four to one. Penguins over the Capitals three nothing. Islanders over the Rangers three nothing. Hurricanes over the Blue Jackets two to one in overtime on a game winner by Dougie Hamilton. Canadians over the Senators three to two in overtime on a game winner by Cole Caulfield as uh, he scores his first NHL goal. Maple Leafs over the Canucks five to one. Panthers over the Blackhawks five to four. Wild over the Blues four to three in overtime on a game winner by Kevin Fiala. Preds over the Stars one nothing in overtime on a game winner by Eric Halla. Abs over the Sharks four to three. Oilers over the Flames four to one. Golden Knights over the Coyotes three to two in overtime on a game winner by Jonathan Marshall. Saw another Coyotes under, but it's understandable because of the opponent. And the Ducks over the Kings, 6-2. to two. And one game yesterday, the Lightning over the Red Wings, 2-1. to one. All right. Big window tonight. Big. Um, 14 deep. 7 o'clock, you have the Capitals and the Rangers. The Capitals are division, playing for a division title. Rangers are out of it. Um... Caps are minus 112, Rangers are minus 104, over under six and a half overs, even money, unders minus 122. Caps minus one half is plus 225, Rangers plus one half is minus 280. I'm going to lay the minus 112 with the Capitals here against the Rangers. Like I said, the Rangers are out of it. Capitals trying for first place. Islanders, Sabres. The Islanders are minus 270, the Buffalo is plus 220, over under five and a half overs, plus 106, unders minus 130. Islanders minus one half is plus one oh five. Buffalo plus one half is minus one twenty six. I'm taking the Islanders minus one half at plus one oh five. Bruins Devils. Bruins are minus one fifty. The Devils are plus two oh five over under five and a half, minus one ten each way. Bruins minus one half is plus one twelve. Devils plus one half is minus one thirty four. I'm taking over five and a half with the Boston Devils game. Penguins Flyers. The Penguins are minus one seventy two. The Philadelphia Flyers are plus one forty four. Over under six and a half, minus one ten each way. Penguins minus one half is plus one fifty. Flyers plus one half is minus one eighty two. And laying the one and a half with the Penguins on the puck line at minus or plus one fifty. Blackhawks Hurricanes. The Hurricanes are minus two seventy. The Blackhawks are plus two twenty. Over under six and a half. Overs plus one hundred six. Unders minus one thirty. Canes minus one half is minus one hundred two. Hawks plus one half is minus one eighteen. I'm going to lay the one and a half at minus one hundred two with the Canes. Preds, Blue Jackets. The Preds are minus 190. The Jackets are plus 160. Over under 5.5. Over is plus 120. Under is minus 148. Preds minus 1.5 is plus 146. Blue Jackets plus 1.5 is minus 178. I'm going to go Nashville in regulation at minus 115 for the pick. Maple Leafs, Canadians. Toronto's minus 164. The Canadians are plus 138. Over under 5.5. Over is minus 120. Under is minus 102. Toronto minus one F is plus one sixty four. Canadians plus one F is minus two hundred. I'm gonna go with the Maple Leafs minus one oh five in regulation. Jets Senators. Um the Jets are minus one sixty six. The Red the Sens are plus one forty over under six and a half. Over is plus one oh six, under is minus one thirty. Jets minus one F is plus one fifty five. Ottawa plus one F is minus one eighty eight. I'm going Jets in regulation at minus 105. The Stars and the Panthers. The Stars are, um, I believe they're the dog. Yeah, plus 132. The Panthers are minus 156. Over under 5.5. Over is plus 106. Under is minus 130. Stars plus 1.5 is minus 215. Panthers minus 1.5 is plus 176. Dallas is three points back of Nashville for the last playoff spot. Florida has clinched already. So I'm going to take my underdog special tonight. The Dallas Stars plus 136 on the road. 8 o'clock, the Ducks and the Blues. The Blues are minus 260. The Ducks are plus 215. Over, under, 5.5. Over is minus 108. Under is minus 112. The Ducks plus 1.5 is minus 120. The Blues minus 1.5 is even money. This is a tough one, but I'm going to go under 5.5 at minus 112. Golden Knights, Wild. 
Vegas was minus one thirty six. The Wild plus one sixteen. Over under five and a half. Overs minus one twelve. Unders minus one eight. Golden Knights minus one half is plus one ninety five. Wild plus one half is minus two forty. Go under five and a half at minus one oh eight. I think this is an under game. Ten o'clock. The Kings against the Coyotes. The Coyotes are minus one forty six. The Kings are plus one twenty four. Over under five and a half. Overs plus one oh eight. Unders minus one thirty two. Kings plus one half is minus two thirty. Coyotes minus one half is plus one eighty eight. I'm going to go over 5.5 at plus 108. The Oilers and the Canucks. Edmonton's minus 220. Vancouver's plus 184. Over under 5.5. Over is minus 134. Under is minus or plus 110. Edmonton minus 1.5 is plus 120. Canucks plus 1.5 is minus 144. The Canucks haven't really... They had those two fun wins over Toronto post their pause, but they really haven't done much since then. So I'm going to go Oilers. Puck line, minus one after plus 120. And at 10.30, the Avalanche and the Sharks. The Avs are minus 270. The Sharks are plus 220. Over, under, 6.5. Overs, plus 104. Unders, minus 128. Avalanche, minus one after is even money. Sharks, plus one after is minus 120. This is a hard one, but I'm going to go with the over, 6.5 at plus 104. I think that this could be an overtime game. The Sharks have been competitive, so I'm going over, 6.5 at plus 104. Now I'm going to go over to the Major League Baseball from the weekend, and we will look ahead to what should be an interesting slate for tonight. So we'll start with Friday. Cards over to Pirates 7-3. to three. Nats over to Marlins 2-1-10 on a walk-off home run by Kyle Schwarber, two-run shot. Phillies over to Mets 2-1. Yankees over to Tigers 10-0. Reds over to Cubs 8-6. Astros over to Rays 9-2. Blue Jays over to Braves, 13-5. Red Sox over to Rangers, 6-1. Indians over to White Sox, 5-3. Twins over to Royals, 9-1. Brewers over to Dodgers, 3-1. Orioles over to A's, 3-2. D-backs over to Rockies, 7-2. Mariners over to Angels, 7-4. And Padres over to Giants, 3-2. Saturday, Yanks over to Tigers, 6-4. Nats over to Marlins, 7-2. Royals over to Twins, 11-3. White Sox over to Indians, 7-3. Orioles over to A's 8-4. Cubs over to Reds 3-2. Astros over to Rays 3-1. Mets over to Phillies 5-4. Cards over to Pirates 12-5. Rangers over to Red Sox 8-6. Brewers over to Dodgers 6-5 and 11 on a walk-off single by Travis Shaw. Blue Jays over to Braves 6-5 on a walk-off single by Randall Gritchick. Rockies over to Diamondbacks 14-6. Padres over to Giants 6-2. Angels over to Mariners 10-5. Sunday. Yanks over to Tigers 2-0 to complete the sweep. Nats over to Marlins 3-1. Cards over to Pirates 3-0. Blue Jays over to Braves 7-2 to complete the sweep. Reds over to Cubs 13-12. And 10 on a walk-off single by Nicholas Castellanos. Rays over to Astros 5-4. Indians over to White Sox 5-0. Twins over to Royals 13-4. Dodgers over to Brewers 16-4. Rangers over to Red Sox, 5-3. A's over to Orioles, 7-5. Mariners over to Angels, 2-0. D-backs over to Rockies, 8-4. Giants over to Padres, 7-1. Mets over to Phils, 8-7. On a crazy finish on Sunday Night Baseball, Reese Hoskins thought he had a game-tying home run, and they overturned it and made it a double, and Edwin Diaz and the Mets escaped with the victory. All right, not a big slate tonight in baseball. 7 o'clock, you have the Brewers at the Phillies, Adrian Hauser, and... Vince Velasquez, the Brewers are minus 102. The Phillies are minus 116. Over under 8.5, overs minus 118, unders minus 104. Brewers minus 1.5 is plus 162. Phillies plus 1.5 is minus 196. I'm going to go with the Brewers as a road dog, minus 102. Bounce back spot for them. 7.30 to Dodgers and the Cubs. Walker Buehler and Kyle Hendricks, this game would have been on ESPN if not been for some NBA basketball. Um, the Dodgers are minus 210. The Cubs are plus 176, over under 8. Over is even money. Under is minus 102. Dodgers minus 1F is minus 104. Cubs plus 1F is minus 105. I'm going to take a shot here. Cubs run line plus 1F and minus 105. Maybe the Dodgers win by 1. Maybe the Cubs win. Rangers and the Twins, Dane Dunning and Kenta Maeda. The Twins are minus 180, the Rangers plus 152, over under 8.5, over is minus 108, or minus 106, under is minus 114. 
Rangers plus one half is minus one thirty. Twins minus one half is plus one oh eight. I'm gonna go Rangers on their dog money line plus one fifty two at the Twins. Eight o'clock, the Indians and the Royals. Aaron Savali and Daniel Lynch is making his big league debut. The Indians are minus one twenty. The the Royals are plus one oh two over under eight and a half overs minus one twelve on there's minus one oh eight. Indians minus one half is plus one thirty four. Royals plus one half is minus one sixty two. I'm gonna go under eight and a half and minus one oh eight. We skipped the game. Seven forty five Mets Cardinals. Adam Wainwright, we don't know who's going for the Mets. Um if anything, I'll probably bet the over. Um 8.30, you have the Giants with the Rockies. Aaron Sanchez and Herman Marquez. Um, Marquez minus 110 in the Rockies. The Giants minus 106, over under 10. Overs minus 115, unders minus 105. Giants minus 1F is plus 152. Rockies plus 1F is minus 184. The Giants are playing red hot right now. I'm taking them minus 106 at the Rockies. 9.30, the Rays at the Angels. Tyler Glass now and Shohei Otani. The Rays are minus 118. The Angels are even money. Over under 7.5. Minus 110 each way. Rays minus 1 of his plus 152. Angels plus 1 of his minus 184. I'm going to take a shot here and take the Angels as a home dog. Um, Glass now I don't think has pitched a bad game all year. And I think this is a good spot for Otani to show off a little bit. Blue Jays A's. Steven Matz and Frankie Montas. The A's are minus 122. The Blue Jays are plus 104 over under 8.5. Overs minus 106. On this, minus 114. Blue Jays plus 1.5 is minus 200. A's minus 1.5 is plus 164. I'm going to go with the over 8.5 and at minus 106. Orioles, Mariners. Dean Kramer, we don't know who's going for Seattle. That's an over bet, probably. And, and if it's anything over 9. And then the Pirates and the Padres. Um... I mean, if it's anything under nine, I should say. So the Pirates and the Padres, Tyler Anderson against Miguel Diaz, who's making his season debut. The Padres are minus one ninety six. The Pirates are plus one sixty four. Over under nine. Overs minus one one twenty two. Unders even money. Pirates plus one half is minus one twenty five. Padres minus one half is plus one four. I'm gonna go with Pittsburgh as a road dog at plus one sixty four. I guess the Padres, due to the unknown of the starting pitcher for the Padres. All right, now we'll move on to the um, golf, which is the um, Valspar Championship, which um, was an interesting tournament, to say the least. Your winner with a score of 17 under, Sam Burns. Second place was under 14, Keegan Bradley. Third place, Ty. 13 under, Cam Triangle and Victor Hovland. Fifth with 12 under, Abraham Answer. Sixth with 10 under, you had Vaughn Taylor and Max Homa. Tied for eighth with 9 under, Luis Olson, Joaquin Neiman, and Troy Merritt. Tied for 11th with 8 under, you had Camilo Villagas. And Brant Snecker. Tied for 13th with 7 under Bubba Watson, Jason Kokrak, Hank Labodia, um, Bronson Burgoon, and Justin Thomas. Tied for 18th with 6 under Adam Shank, Ted Potter Jr., and Charlie Hoffman. Tied for 21st with 5 under Danny Lee, Ian Poulter, Russell Knox, Charles Schwartzel, Paul Casey, Corey Connors, Matthew Neesmith, and Alex Loren. Tied for 29th with 4 under Scotty Scheffler, Zach Johnson, Sanjay M, Michael Gillick, um, Kevin Na. Pablo Perez, K.H. Lee, Vincent Wally, um, Scott Stallings, 
and Jimmy Walker. 39th with three under. Bo Van Pelt. Ryan Moore. Tyler Duncan. Bo Hostler. Um, Kyle Stanley. Scott Brown. Doc Redmond. Dylan McCarthy. Charles Howell the third. Tied for 48th with two under Henrik Norlander, Dustin Johnson, Tom Lewis. Um William Byron, Lucas Glover, and Jonathan Vegas. Tied for 54th with one under JT Potson. Luke Donald. And Brandon Grace. Now I'm just going to do go through the notables. Um, at even, nobody in particular. Um, Ryan Palmer and Chris Kepka were in the tie for 63rd with two over. J.B. Holmes was in 68th with seven over. A lot of big names cut. Phil Mickelson, Patrick Reed, uh, Mark Hubbard, Luke List, um... Chris Kirk, Brock Stewart, KJ Choi, Adam Hadwin, Andrew Landry, JJ Spawn, Chesra V, Taylor Gooch, Justin Rose, Richie Varensky, Gary Woodland. And that's it among those that were cut. And the next weekend is a good one the Wells Fargo Championship from Quail Hollow Golf Course. So that should be fun. That's all the way out in Massachusetts. So that's going to be one to watch, and we'll cover it on the podcast. All right, now we will go over NASCAR from the weekend. Um, Two races, Truck and Cup Series, and they raced in... um, Kansas this past weekend. And we'll start with the uh, truck series results. And your winner, Kyle Busch. In second, finished Ross Chase in third, Austin Hill, fourth, Christian X, fifth, John Hunter Nemec, sixth, Todd Gillen, seventh, Jane Smith. 8th, Raphael Lesser, 9th, Johnny Sauter, 10, Ben Rhodes. The rest of it, Chandler Smith, Bailey Curry, Haley Deegan, Stuart Friesen, Tyler Anker, Austin Wayne South, Grant Effinger, Tanner Gray, Chase Briscoe, Ryan Truex, Timothy Peters, Timmy Hill, Carson Hosvar, Matt Crafton, Chase Purdy, Danny Bone, Brett Holmes, Derek Krause, Spencer Davis, Jordan Anderson, Dawson Cram, Sheldon Creed, Chris Wright, CJ McLaughlin, Spencer Boy, Tate Fogelman, Jennifer Joe Cobb, Jesse Wuji. Norm Benning and Ryan Reed. All right now the Cup Series results, and the winner of that race, as I predicted, Kyle Busch. So we went two for two this weekend. Good for Kyle Busch. Second, Kevin Harvick. Third, Brad Keselowski. Fourth, Matthew Mendetto. Fifth, Chase Elliott. Sixth, Martin Truex Jr. Seventh, Tyler Riddick. Eighth, Chris Boucher. Ninth, William Byron. Tenth, Austin Dillon, and the rest. Daniel Suarez, Denny Hamlin, Michael McDowell, Ross Chase and Kurt Busch, Ryan Newman, Joy Logano, Alex Bowman, Kyle Larson, Chase Briscoe, Ryan Blaney, Austin Sandrick, Anthony Alfredo, Cole Custer, Eric Jones, Bubba Wallace, Corey LaJoy, Chris Bell, Eric Almarola, Justin Haley, BJ McGlade, Ryan Priest, Garrett Smith, Lee, Ricky Senhouse Jr., Joey Gase, Cody Ware, Quinn Half, Matt Mills, and Josh Baliki. All right, now I'll recap last night's episode of American Idol. I'll go over what everybody performed, and then at the end, I will um, go over who made the um, top seven. So, last night was Disney night. First up went... Actually, uh, Sophia Carson in the top nine, performing A Whole New World by Aladdin. 
Um, and then Caleb Kennedy went first, and he went with Real Gone from Cars. Willie Spence went second. He performed Circle of Life from The Lion King. Excellent performance. Third, Deshaun Gonzalez went When You Wish Upon a Star from Pinocchio. Casey Bishop, fourth. And she performed When She Loved Me from Toy Story 2. Chase Beckham went fifth. And he performed Baby Mine by Dumbo. Or from Dumbo. Sixth, Alyssa Ray went with A Dream is a Wish Your Heart Makes from Cinderella. Arthur Gunn went seventh. And he was the contested pick from last season to return to perform this season in the top ten. He performed Remember Me by Coco. Or from Coco. Eighth went Cassandra Coleman, and she went with Go to Distance from Hercules. Hunter Metz went ninth, and he performed You'll Be in My Heart from Tarzan. And Grace Kinsler went last as she performed Into the Unknown from Frozen. Um, and the other performance was John Batiste as he performed It's All Right from Soul. All right. The ones who made it through into the top seven, Caleb Kennedy, Willie Spence, Casey Bishop, Chase Beckham, Arthur Gunn, Hunter Metz, and Grace Kinsler. I feel sorry for the three that got eliminated. I thought Deshaun had a good performance. I thought he was robbed. Um, somebody good had to go home, and that person that was good that went home was Deshaun. Although Lisa and Cassandra are also very good. But like I said, this is a deep competition, especially with Arthur now back in the mix. It only got deeper, and then somebody else that was very good had to get eliminated, unfortunately. Last but not least, my best bet of the day, brought to you by FanDuel. Um, there were a couple that stood out to me today. In regards of a best bet. And the one I decided to settle on was. And by the way, let's assume that Ben Simmons and Joel Embiid will play. I'm going to lay eight with the Philadelphia 76ers. Against the Chicago Bulls from the United Center. All right, sorry for the short show today. I'll be back with a bigger show tomorrow, including news and notes um, and everything from today. Looking ahead to tomorrow, I may or may not do an activity, or and I may or may not have a guest on tomorrow night. That is a to be determined. I hope you guys have a great day, everybody.